kutoka garisa tunarejea hapa jijini ambapo waziri wa kilimo Mwangi Kiunjuri amekuwa na wakati mgumu leo kuifafanulia kamati ya bunge inayohusika na kilimo kuhusiana na uamuzi wa wizara hiyo kwa mua kununua mahindi ya wakulima kwa shilingi 1300 na tatu kwa kila gunia Kiunjuri ameelezea kamati hiyo kuwa utafiti wa kina ulifanywa kabla wa muzi huo kufanywa na si kwamba maslahi ya wakulima yanahujumiwa na bodi ya nafaka nchini NSPB pamoja na shirika la kuhifadhi na kudhibiti matumizi ya nafaka nchini. Dhabu ya wakulima wa mahindi kufuatia tume ya SFR kudai kuwa serikali itanunua mahindi ya wakulima kwa shilingi 2300 kwa gunia moja kando na bei ya hapo awali ya 3200 waziri wa kilimo Mwangi Kiunjuri hii leo amemulikwa kuhusiana na swala hilo na kamati ya bunge kuhusiana na kilimo baada ya bunge kupingana na uamuzi huo This year uh, the the also use matrix It's a multisectoral team that is set up to come up with the pricing and that committee where they sit down they give us a feedback on the parameters they looked at price of 2300 especially in relation to the production cost I want to see the formula the SFR have used in black and white. I don't know whether any farmer's body or any farmers were involved in arriving at that price. Because I believe when you are talking about something that is touching on those people, then they should be at least somebody on their behalf so that they are able to agree or disagree with what is going on. Tayari nabainika kuwa pesa za mlipa ushuru huenda zikapotea kwa ni gunia bilioni 1.2 na semekana kuharibika kwa ni zina kemikali aina ya aflatoxin na fumenism ambazo ni sumo. Uh, yes, one thing that we can admit is that uh, the maize we have in our stores are deteriorating every one day. For example, the one more than 1.2 million uh, bags of maize that are still in silos are uh, discolored. The National Serious Board, the storage, the, uh, the chemicals that were used were substandard. They were the counterfeits. They were not the right ones. That's why we're having these problems of maize going back. And you talked about 60%. I'm sure it will be more than that. Members who are present. So, Lilikiwa Ye, Nani Wakula Umiwa Kwa Sarahi Na Ushudiwa Katika Magala Ya Bodi Ya Nafaka Nchini NCPB Baadhe Ya Wabungi Wa Kadaikuwa Bodi Ya NCPB Banduliwe kwani kuna utepetevu katika uongozi wa bodi hiyo we are disposing of we are seeking we are looking for ways of disposing of 1.2 million bags that have been bought by the taxpayers money taxpayers money that now we are being told is toxic we do not know i mean who was in charge who should be held responsible i want to urge this committee and the ministry to go and inspect what is happening at the National Serious and Produce Board. Because I'm aware, I am aware that good maize, which was supplied by, by farmers to the National Serious and Produce Board at the moment, are being replaced by the maize which was imported from abroad. For are not competent, I've already indicated how most of these people have risen through the ranks, from a clerk to a manager. But that does not mean that everybody was incompetent. Again, I have said even the remaining managers were there out of uh, uh, what happened in uh, ESCC involvement, most of these people are now suspended. Allow me to Takribano talk. kulimo na wanabiashara siti na wawili wako mashakani baada atume ofisadi nchini ESCC kutoa amri kwa waselipwe kwani walipatikana na dosari. Wizara ya kilimo imekuwa na changamoto chungu nzima wakulima wakilia kuhesabu wa sara yao kufuatia changamoto hizo. Ivan Mwangi, KUTV.